All right, so we're back and we're getting ready to start step 24. Step 24 is a little bit more fun than the other parts that we've had. I'm going to zoom out so you can see what's going on a little bit better. But we're actually going to be mounting some, putting some pieces together. Now, up until now, we've had you know kind of a slow, steady pace of building everything out little by little. Um, now you're actually going to see us put the big piece together, which is mount the neck and mount the arm onto the neck and we're going to be good to go. So we're going to start off by gathering the components that we need. So in step 24 they say we need the wheels. Furthermore they say we need four white rivets. I'm going to move this off to the side right now. Kind of preemptive because I see the picture already and they're putting it together. So just We're going on a long build time for this one. Okay, and four green ones. To me, it looks like all these are pretty much the same, except for the long gray ones. Um, I think they're just color coordinating, cut it, color coordinating them, and setting them up for us so we can see them easily. So, looks like what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be taking the neck and we're going to be mounting this onto it. Now the way we're going to mount it is through this part right here I believe. Let's see, nope, the back portion which is this right here and it should be mounted as such. Sure enough, fits on there like a glove. Look at that, just like so. So it fits there. Now how are we going to mount this part? So it looks like we're going to need to use the white rivets for this section and we just Put two on either side. So, pardon me as I readjust myself here for this. I'm definitely going to need to use the rivet tool for this one. There we go. That's one. That's two. So, that's mounted. We're good. Okay. Now the next step, and it looks like what we're going to be doing here, is that we're going to mount this servo on the bottom. And I'll zoom in so you can see that. This servo has a little servo horn on top of it, which is just a circle, with four holes where these rivets will be mounted in. They're going to be mounted to the bottom of this.
right, so let's just give it a try. There we have it. So it moves around nicely. Might want to recess more. Push down some of these rivets so that it doesn't snag on any of those. So there we have it. And the four wheels, obviously, go just like we said, right in the back. Just like so. All right, so this is finally coming together after a long build time. Oh boy, now we're on step 25. We only have five more steps, and the next steps looks like we're just gonna be building the gripper. And we'll be done.